Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering temperature. As you can see here, we have different thermometers. So, my question for you is what do thermometer measure to provide a temperature reading? The objectives of this lesson is to develop and use models to illustrate the transfer of thermal energy at the microscopic level and the molecular level, plan and conduct an investigation to provide an evidence that the transfer of thermal energy when two components of different temperature are combined within a closed system result in a more uniform distribution among the components in the system. Here, the three primary states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. What are the properties of solids? Solids are made up of tightly packed particles. Solids have a fixed shape and volume. What are the properties of liquid? Liquids are made up of particles that are packed together but are able to move around and flow past each other. Liquids have fixed volume but no fixed shape. What are properties of gases? Gases are made up of loose particles that move around freely. So we conclude that gas have no fixed volumes or shapes. Structure of matter. Solids are made up of particles arranged in a regular repeating pattern. The, the particles are held in place by attractive forces and that the particles don't move relative to other particles, but instead they vibrate in place. Liquids. Liquids are made up of particles that can flow freely around each other and attractive forces keep the particles together. Now, my question for you. How does the kinetic energy of the particles compare between those in solids and liquids? The particles of liquids have greater kinetic energy. Now, the final state of matter, which is gases. Gases are made up of particles that flow freely around each other and the attractive forces keep the particles together. How does the kinetic energy of the particles compare between those in solids and liquids? The particles in the liquid have less kinetic energy than the particles in gases. Then we will go through the concept of ideal gas. What is an ideal Gas. It's a model used to approximate the behavior of real gases. You can see here how the volume affects the uh, pressure or how the volume and the pressure related. By decreasing the volume, what happens? We increase the pressure. Then we will discuss the average kinetic energy of gas particles. Since there is plenty of space, they are constantly in motion and constantly colliding with each other and with the walls of the container traveling in straight lines between. We will discuss that in our class in details and we will learn that the average kinetic energy of the particles measured as temperature is known as thermal energy. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. Have a good week ahead.